Have you ever wondered who makes the best, the best archery release in the world? What is the, who makes the best release? Who makes the best handheld release? There's a couple out there that I've been just itching to test. True Ball HBC Flex. This has been my tried and true, but you don't know what you don't know. So we're gonna dig in, we're gonna test some stuff. I wanna test the Ultra View, I wanna test the stand, I wanna shoot them all side by side by side, compare them, get you some notes so you can make a good buying decision or at least get you what I think if you wanna buy something. Let's go, um, I don't think, uh, I don't think Josh is in the shop, so I'm gonna go borrow some releases to test for you guys and uh, let's go rip a few, make a day of it. Who makes the best release, Justin? Yeah. <laughs> true ball, it's though. Or true ball. Who makes the best release, David? Ultra View. Who makes the best release? Stan. Stan all the way. Do you really think Stan? Stan. Hey Josh, I'm, I'm smuggling all these releases. Do you yeah. Mind? What's your point? Do you mind? First Not really. One for a video? Not really. That's fine. You want to give your opinion? Tell yeah, sure. Think. Give me a second. I got. I'm working. You do real work. I do all kinds. Wait, of wait, work. wait. Someone take a picture. Josh is doing manual labor. Oh, give me a fucking break. <laughs> I'm all, I do manual labor all the time. Liam, have you ever caught him doing manual labor before? I do it all the time. Wanted to bring in our dude, the dude, the archery dude, the archery expert, Josh Jones, to talk about uh, hinge versus thumb. I've kind of been a hinge person mainly because it's really helped me shoot. I still don't think for most people, even for me, it's probably not the best thing to hunt with, although you can hunt with them. I wanted Josh to talk a little bit about hinges and thumbs and get you the perspective of somebody who's like good at archery and been around the game for a while. Well, first of all, a hinge is probably the hardest thing to cheat, so it's really beneficial for someone who's trying to learn how to shoot a bow correctly. Hinges are really good for that purpose. Thumbs, you can still command and control with relative ease, so as you try to discharge or squeeze here, it goes off. A hinge is all rotation, so you pull, rotate, click. Simple as that, right? This movement is what's firing the bow. How you uh, initiate that movement may differ. I prefer thumb to hunt with, for the simple reason of you can still fire this just like that. You hook your thumb around it and you pull and squeeze and squeeze and squeeze and it goes off and you don't know what's going off. But if I get in a situation where I feel I have to make this go off, i.e. he's moving, I need to fire. Pop, when I pop, 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 if you watch this movement in my hand, the rest of my fingers don't move when I do it. If you try to move just this finger, all your fingers move when you do it. So if you're gonna punch, this makes a lot more sense. I am not a puncher by any means. I shoot this like a back tension other than the every rare occasion that I need to fire it and make it go off. But for people who really struggle with target panic or instances of that, this, you really, I mean, you can force it, but it's a lot harder to force it to go off. So Timmy is working on this. The differences between the ones we have here. A couple, couple pros really quick. So yeah. a lot of target archers will shoot the hinge for accuracy. Also, if you just want to shoot something for a training aid, training purpose, training good shot, good shot execution, execution. If used well, the hinge can be really productive for that. The hinge is awesome. I'm just not a big fan of hunting with it. Uh, shoot target with it all day long. It's a really good way to go. Timmy's HBC Flex that he's been shooting forever is a really good, popular, adjustable hinge. Click to fire, brass, finger changeable, three or four finger. Good little unit. <clears throat> Stan, this one I'm actually really excited about. One, you can put a three or four finger on here and it comes with both. Two, it's got a rotate to click and a shorter click that seems quieter. So if you were gonna hunt with it, this to me would be a really big plus. And the other thing that this offers that I've only ever seen a couple other releases do is this has a safety. So you can pull it back, not worry about rotating your hand any given direction. The release won't go off until you take your thumb off and pull and rotate and click, which is pretty cool for a new person. This should be less intimidating. And then the Ultra View. That's the V1, by the, the way. That's the V1. But we played with the... Right? We yeah. played with the V2. Yeah. It's also your standard back tension. And the V2 has a very unique feature of being able to move two independents. Yeah. So you can change how long the click is and where it's rotated at. And it doesn't do this and it, anymore. And it doesn't do this it doesn't floppy, do the floppy slew anymore. Yeah. Oh, and the other thing I would point out on the stand is it's a self-cocking 
here. So when it fires, it just recocks and hooks. You don't That's have to shut nice. it. That's, That's pretty nice. That's a nice little feature. Yeah. But those are your basic differences between those three. But at the end of the day, it matters how they feel to you and how they're comfortable to you. So I'd strongly encourage you to go to a place that allow you to shoot them and decide which one you like from there. Stuff I'm missing here. Is there another something to be included in this? Like, um, well, you don't have a you don't have a Scott. You don't have a, a Carter. You don't have a B3. Well, drop a comment if you want us to see us test or mess with those other releases. But these are the big three, and I wanted to keep it simple for today. So we're going to kind of dig in, break them down, go through each, and talk about you know what we can find, pros and cons, the good, the bad, and the ugly, and uh, what, might, what might make the most sense to go with if you're going to pick one of these out. Ooh, there you go. So here's the thing guys, I went through this whole deal and shot all these releases. I personally like a lot about this. I like how adjustable it is with the click and fire. I like the magnet and that it holds there. The fit in your hand is good. Seems to change my anchor just a little bit, if you can see that. Maybe an eighth of an inch or something like that. So if you're using it and that's all you use, that's cool. That's not that's not a big adjustment, but it is something if you're coming from something with a shorter neck. All in all, solid product, crisp release, good fit in my hand. For reference, I wear a large size golf glove. This medium fits really well in my hand. I'm kind of shooting near the end of my fingers. I'm not shooting really deep into my knuckles. I couldn't shoot too deep into my knuckles. So if that was something you were trying to do, consider that but that's right where I shoot it from and the medium fits really well. Good option, we'll, we'll shoot them all and then we'll we'll get the uh, their rating side by side, stack them up. Scored them, went through it, you saw the table side by side by side, had a day to think about it and I was like, I gotta come back and reshoot this. I think next up, stand on X, large hinge with a little safety mechanism on the back if you wanna use it. Totally different fit than the Ultra View. So it kind of spreads your fingers out instead of cramming them together. Which to be honest, I don't mind. I don't mind. It's different than the True Ball 2. Let's send a few. Oh, and uh, if you want to buy any of this stuff, check this out. Josh just dropped me a discount code. If you want to buy some stuff, Josh's website is great. You can use my discount code. It's just Tim C. It gets you 10% off and it helps us make better videos. Yeah, do more cool stuff. And I think for the first, say like the first 100 people that use it, I'm going to do something really cool. Maybe give something, maybe give something away. Something you've seen before. Something epic. I'm going to do something cool. So for the first 100 of you that use the discount code, I'm going to do something cool. And then also, if you're just subscribed to the channel, I'll do something cool for one of you too. So bam, bam, there we go. Coming in hot. Yeah, trust me on this one. Trust me on this one. Be subscribed. And if you want to buy some stuff, use the discount code TIMC. Just a different fit because your knuckles are a little wider apart. Changes your anchor just a little. I kind of anchor jaws to knuckle right there. It's just a little different, but damn, that is a uh, super, super crisp. Auto returns, like my true ball, I have to click this back manually. So having that auto return is kind of nice. I, I see I see now why people really dig these. Stan's got a super loyal following and I, I get it. Old Faithful here, true ball HBC Flex. I saved this for last because I've shot it the most. I know it really, Really pretty dang well. I probably shot a couple thousand arrows with it. And I recently just changed, they have an adjustable third finger here and you can add the fourth finger too, but you can adjust the angle on that. So if you want this to be a little more forward, that's where I had it. So I could sh shoot and just, adjustability on that third finger, I do think is kind of cool. I don't know that everyone needs it or everyone's into it, but for me, I like having it. I also typically will run it with a wrist strap on just like this. It's just me being weird or whatever. But when I have the wrist strap on, it does feel like it, it adds some stability to the system or whatever, or it just shoots a little different. So I typically don't, I almost always shoot with this on because I've gotten used to it. And this as well can adjust how hot and cold it is. Old Faithful.
when I compare these, this one has the narrowest, see how it's kind of built on a taper there? It goes from fat in the index to skinnier here. As far as the fit goes, it's just different, different. The other two are a little wider through, particularly the stands wider through the bottom. I used to think that being wider made it a little harder for it to rotate, but I don't think that's true. I think, uh, I think it's just different in preference based on what you like for fit. This is the V1, by the way. I keep using this because the other one's down at the shop, but Ultra View Hinge 2, Stand Hinge, Trueball HBC Flex. These are all pretty amazing options if we're being truthfully honest here. And that's not surprising because these are the three that come up time after time again when I hear people talk about, you know, what they're using, what they're liking, and what they're shooting. Fortunately, I'm kind of spoiled here and we have the archery shop right down there so we can just pull stuff out and test it for you and just kind of offer some perspective and some opinion. I think if in a perfect world you could shoot these all and test them for yourself. Here's kind of the main differences, the key highlights I saw side by side. Stan has the safety feature, that's pretty cool. Puts your hand in a more kind of natural position with a wider grip. Now, it could be good or bad depending on what you like. I see why people like stands, the, the release is very crisp and has all the adjustability you would need. Trueball HPC Flex. This has been my tried and true recently. Although what I would say is it's probably not the easiest to hunt with because the hook on it, in a pinch, the hook's kind of small and maybe not the easiest to get onto your, your loop when you needed it. Very clean mechanism and it's a release I see a lot of target shooters shooting, the Trueball HBC Flex or the Trueball Goat. Very tried and true, popular and tested. But for a hunting option, because assuming that's what most of you will be doing with it, maybe not the best option, although I have hunted with it and may continue to, but that's just because I have a lot of reps with it. Ultra View Hinge 2, they cleaned up this and what I like about it Actually, let me tell you what I don't like about it first and, and offer the only piece of feedback I really would offer is they could shorten the neck on it. The distance to get to the hook or the loop is a little longer on this than most releases. So for some of you that are tuned into your setup, it could change your, your draw length a little bit. A small amount, but it's still something. So my feedback would be, hey, if we could shorten that a little bit, that would be cool. Aside from that, possibly the most practical to hunt with because of how easy it is to get on the loop and having your basic adjustments right here. This is the hunting bracket as well that you could also put on your Ultra View Hinge 2 for hunting. And then you could put a little loop around it, have it on your wrist, make sense to hunt with. But the downside being, hey, now you start spending more and more money to get what you want. So those are my key thoughts. Let me know what you guys think, what your experience has been. Three very solid options. What I would leave with is, although a hinge may not be the most practical for most people to hunt with, if you get enough arrows through it, you may be comfortable hunting with it, but it is really nice to learn to shoot a hinge just as a training aid, or maybe you decide you wanna shoot with it for things like tack or 3D or, or when you wanna be your most accurate. Cranking back up that road to 100K. Subscribe to the channel. I will catch you back here next time.